Welcome back. This is Trisha Jaktiani and I'm here with another tutorial on advanced Excel. In this tutorial, you will learn about the three count functions and that is count, count A and count blank. We will see where and how you can use these three functions. We'll first start with the count functions. Count function is one of the statistical functions in Excel and is used to count the number of cells that contains a numeric value. So in this case, if you look at my example, I have the order details given to me where I have some order date, customer name, country, product, and some more details like the quantity and the revenue. From this example, I am required to identify the total number of orders. In order to do that, I will have to use the count function. Now, because the count function can only count the cells that contains numbers, I will have to look for the columns which only contains the numeric value. For example, the order ID, the quantity, and revenue, which are sitting in B, G, or H. These are the three cells that can be used for the count function. So, we'll start with the count function. After the bracket, it is asking me for value one, value two. Just like the sum function, we are going to select the whole range. A count function will look in that range. Wherever there are numbers, it will count the cells as wherever the number is. It will count one, two, and three accordingly. So I'm going to take the order ID for now. Select the order ID, go to the last order ID, select the whole, all the cells till 339. So Excel will check in this or uh, 338 cells wherever there is numbers it will take that as in the count and it will count as one two three wherever the numbers are close the bracket enter and here you will get the total number of orders from this list now like i mentioned you can only count the cells that contains numbers so i have picked up these three cells how about the date can I pick up the date for the count function? Yes, because the date is ideally a number just converted to show it as a date by using the format cell option. We have covered the format cell in another, another tutorial on the formatting. So you can go back and check that. But yes, you can also use the date cells or the cells that contain state to identify Thus, the number of cells that contains numeric value because these are all considered as the numeric value. I select the whole cell or the all the range which contains date and I close the bracket, enter, you will get the same result because all the date is considered as numbered by Excel. Now, this was about the count function. What if there was no columns which contains numbers? For example, if I go back to the second example here where I have the employee details given to me where I have the first name, last name, department, region, and branch. In this case, I have to identify the number of employees or the total number of employees in a cell. If I want to do that, I will be using the count function, but the count function here cannot work because none of the cells have any numbers. In that case, I'll use another function called as the count a function. The count a function counts the number of cells that contains any value. It can be numbers, it can be text, it can be error value, it can be characters. It also considers the space as one of the character. So any character that is there, it will consider. In other words, count a counts all the non-blank cells. So it will leave all the blank cells, but count all the cells that contain some details. So I'm going to select count A and this time I'll select the first name to check how many employees are there in my organization. Close the bracket and enter here I get 101. So because there was no numeric value, I cannot use the count function. If I try to use the count function, it will give me a zero value. So close the bracket here because it did not find any cells that contains number. Let me add a number in this cell. You will see that it is giving me a result as 1. If I add one more place as 
in a number, then it will only count the cells which contains the numbers. Hope this makes it clear how the count and the, what is the difference between the count and the count a function. Now the third function on the list, as the name suggests, this function is going to count the number of cells which are blank. That means the cells which does not contain any value, neither the text nor the character, nothing, it's just blank. But this, if the cell contains a space, that will not be considered in the count blank. That is considered as the space is considered as a character, hence it will not be considered in the count blank. So then if I want to use a count blank, I'll have to look for a column where I have to, or a range where I have to look for the blank cells. For in our example, I can see the product name where uh, some of the places or some of the orders does not have the product name available. I have to identify how many such cells are there where the product name is not available. In that case, I will use the count blank, open the bracket. Here, I will use the whole range of product name which is given here. Now, in this case, if I want to do that, it's a little difficult to actually use the shortcut key, which is control shift and down, because when I do that, it will stop at the place where it finds a space or sorry, it finds a blank data. So I'll have to keep doing control shift down, control shift down until I reach the last data, but that will take a lot of time. Instead, I can just go to the last cell and check what is the last cell, which is 339. And I know I am in E. So I'll start with E2 give a colon and I will type the last cell name which is E339. Once I do that, I can close the bracket, enter and here I can get the result. So it is going to check till 339th cell how many cells have blank data. So you can identify that by now if I delete one more cell which from this list it will automatically count in the count blank and give me the list where the blank data is available or the blank cell is available. So this is how you identify the difference uh, uh, difference in the count, count A and count blank and you know now where to use each of these functions. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Keep watching for more of such advanced Excel tutorials. Thank you. To know more, follow and subscribe to Upgrad.